and you said pants. So if I put you on your horses right now, and you're imagining you're on your horses, and you have no legs whatsoever, you have no seat whatsoever, can you push your horse forward with your hands? Can you push him forward with your hands? Right? So the, the, the hands have no function in the creation of forward motion. But you said something very interesting. What's your name? Hallie. Hallie. You said something really interesting. You said left leg and right leg. Because they're independent. So if each of you use just your left leg really hard, if you kick your horse with your left leg hard, you think he's going to go forward? He may go a little sideways, but you think he'll go forward? Absolutely. And likewise with your right leg, he'll go forward. Now, we come back to the third of the three driving aids, and you were right to say your seat. But right now, are we all sitting with the driving seat, like while we're, while we're sitting here? So our seats are passive right now, right? How do we make the passive seat into a driving aid? Is the beginning of activating your core. Somebody said their core. Absolutely. So when you, right now, sit up tall, everyone. Take in a deep breath and tighten all of the muscles from your stomach up through your chest. Throw your shoulder blades backwards. Tighten those muscles right here in your back. Tighten all the way down through your buttocks, okay? Tighten all the way down. Now you have what's called a braced seat, okay? With that braced seat, the, the things that you guys said that, that were right was that you take your seat that is braced and you then push as if you, can you remember when you were little, little kids and you were, you were right next to your best friend on a swing set? And you said, I'm going to race you to the top, okay? Now your feet were dangling. You probably couldn't even touch the ground. But you would breathe in as you go back and you breathe out and push the swing with your seat up that way. And each time you came back, you breathe in and each time you breathe out. And you didn't even know you were breathing in and breathing out. That's the interesting thing about that. We do it reflexively. But then the one that got to the top, Whatever you won, you won. And then, but the idea is that you are using the driving seat. And in the same way, the pushing that swing or pushing the cantle of the saddle toward the pommel of the saddle in that movement drives the horse that is sensitive. Remember, he's so sensitive that if a fly lands on his side, he goes like this with just that skin. That's how sensitive that they can be. We may tend to desensitize them to those things. But that's how then the driving seat makes the horse go, oh, and you say, thank you, boy, that's it.